Hey Explorers, Brian here. So, we've been discussing the kinda wishy-washy way in which we've been defining what Europe is and where Europe is, but today, finally, we're going to be, well, just about as wishy-washy. Just as Europe's formal regions are largely defined by people's perceptions and Europe's functional regions based on people's perceptions changing greatly over time, Europe's perceptual regions are based on, you guessed it, perception. But with those perceptions comes something of an organizational structure from which to look more deeply at the rest of Europe, and we're going to break it all down based on chunks or locations where countries, peoples, climate, and cultures connect. So, let's go! Europe's Perceptual Regions Broadly, most geographers break Europe down into two big areas, Western Europe and Eastern Europe. This distinction is almost exclusively based upon the conflict in the mid to late 20th century called the Cold War, a political and sometimes physical conflict between the Soviet Union, representing the East, and countries aligned with the United States, representing the West. Not only are those areas huge, but the Cold War eventually ended. Additionally, West and East Europe have some connections, but so many distinctions exist that it's much better for us, and much more accurate for Europe, to break it down in two ways. First, we'll look at common physical geography to make distinctions, and then we'll look at cultural perception to guide the rest of our study. Physical Regions – Western Uplands and Northern Highlands we begin to the north and west, where a series of high plateaus cover most of Scandinavia, we'll talk about that in just a bit, all the way down to Brittany in coastal France and down further through northern Portugal. To the north, you have a primarily tundra climate, as you would expect that far north, where the remains of ancient glaciers still, for the present, remain. For the rest, these are areas of hard rock, primarily granite or rock similar to it, which were carved by glaciers. As we've discussed before, glaciation can carve all types of deep valleys and fissures, leaving behind pockmarked and deeply rutted landscapes. As these glaciers retreated and melted, they left behind the marshland and swamplands of Ireland, England, and the low areas of the Netherlands. Additionally, the hundreds of small rocky islands in between Scotland, Scandinavia, and the Arctic are products of glaciation in this region. Physical Regions – Northern European Plain Stretching from southern England all the way across north-central Europe into western Russia and Belarus, the Northern European Plain is the breadbasket of Europe. This region contains numerous large navigable rivers and is the most densely populated region of Europe, especially in the Western Russian region, where four-fifths of Russia's population, or about 110 million people, live west of the Ural Mountains on this plain. Physical Regions – Central Uplands Hilly and somewhat mountainous, but not anywhere near as much as the Alps Mountains, the central uplands stretch from western France through southern Germany, the Czech Republic, Austria, and Switzerland. This region is famous for its dense forest, and this part of Europe is only densely populated around river valleys of the region. Physical Regions – Alpine Mountains this region covers multiple mountain ranges stretching from western France all the way through to the Balkans region. These high, steep-sided, and rugged mountains are carved by glaciation, pushed through tectonic activity, and in some spots driven by volcanism. We'll talk quite a bit more about this in the lesson Europe, So Many Mountains. Physical Regions – Mediterranean Coast Stretching from the Strait of Gibraltar through the Greek archipelago and beyond, the Mediterranean coast is famous for its beaches and dry, warm climate, for which any region around the world with a similar climate is also called Mediterranean. Cultural Perceptual Regions Now let's switch gears and discuss perceptual regions of Europe based on common historical, economic, and cultural connections. Cultural Perceptual Regions – Western Europe Okay, I know we mentioned this region earlier, but this is the smaller, more bite-sized version, and one which is connected a little bit better than the whole west side of Europe. 
Western Europe is comprised of the United Kingdom, Ireland, the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, and many maps and geographers also include France for its historic connections with England, Scotland, and the Low Countries, a common name for the other three we mentioned due to their lower elevation. For our purposes, we're going to put France in the south and talk about the others here. England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales are all on the British Isles and have long been defined by their connections with England, and most of the time their adversarial relationship with it. The other three countries, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg, are commonly referred to as the Benelux and formed a common economic partnership in the 1940s, which later provided the basis for the structure of the European Union. And this partnership seems to have worked incredibly well, as this region is defined as one of the wealthiest places in the world, with Luxembourg having the third highest GDP per capita on Earth at about 115,874 US dollars per person as of 2020. Cultural Perceptual Regions Northern Europe Made up of Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Iceland, this region is often referred to as Scandinavia, though the actual region bearing this title is just the Scandinavian Peninsula. Greenland is also commonly included in this area due to its cultural connections with Norway, having been settled by Eric the Red in 877 CE, though Greenland is often also connected to North America. Most of the region is marked by high technology companies, such as Nokia, and also the origin of the Bluetooth technology, which was named for Harald Bluetooth, a legendary king of Denmark, who brought the kingdoms of Denmark and Norway together under Christianity. This bringing together is the reason for the Swedish telecommunications company Ericsson to name its device-pairing technology Bluetooth. Cultural Perceptual Regions Eastern Europe the countries of Russia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Armenia, Poland, Belarus, Ukraine, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania are identified as Eastern Europe. Many of these are both correctly and incorrectly identified as Slavic countries, denoting a people group called Slavs which inhabit the area, but are not the only people group of the region. With that idea in mind, the area between the Black and Caspian Seas, called Transcaucasus or Transcaucasia, which means the land beyond the Caucasus Mountains, including Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan, have a much more varied history when it comes to people groups, namely Georgians, Armenians, and Azeris which are each unique people groups of Turkic backgrounds. As mentioned before, most of these countries were closely associated with the Soviet Union. After its fall, many countries in the region, which were only producing one thing for the Union, struggled to connect in a global capitalist economic system. Cultural Perceptual Regions – Central Europe Made up of the countries of Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Hungary, Liechtenstein, Slovakia, the Czech Republic, and Slovenia. Central Europe is characterized by a history of conflict. In short, Germany, which takes up the central portion of this central region, has either been dominated by or dominated many parts of the other countries in this region up through World War II. The legacy of fascist and then Soviet governments in many of these countries in the 20th century also defined the idea of a divided Central Europe, which pervaded long beyond the fall of these governments as well, and, for a time, complicated the legacy of this area. Cultural Perceptual Regions – Southwestern Europe Comprising the countries of Portugal, Spain, France, Andorra, Monaco, Italy, San Marino, Vatican City, and Malta, Southwest Europe is largely defined by its sunny Mediterranean climate. Additionally, with the inclusion of Spain, Portugal, and Vatican City, the seat or headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, this region is also heavily connected to the conquest and colonization of Latin America. Also, the country of France, one of the most influential countries in European history, has a cultural and legacy connection to the Greek and Roman world with its Mediterranean coast and long-settled areas. For example, the southern French port of Marseille was originally settled by Greeks in at least 600 BCE. 
These countries also share a close connection to North Africa, both for its connection with the former Roman Empire, but also with the various peoples of Islamic faith who conquered areas of southern Europe, particularly Spain, in the 700s CE and left behind a stunning architectural legacy. Cultural Perceptual Regions – Southeastern Europe Long associated with the beginnings of Western civilization, the countries of Greece, Macedonia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Montenegro, Kosovo, Moldova, and Turkey comprise much more than just the Athens which everyone knows. Defined by karst topography or a limestone landscape etched by water with sharp peaks and deep narrow valleys, the physical geography is a representation of the political reality of these countries, continuously divided and difficult to reach. In fact, the area is so known for its continuous breakups and changing alliances that the geopolitical term for an area to rapidly divide into warring groups is Balkanization after the Balkan Peninsula, which is itself a hotly contested definition found here. Conclusion The continent of Europe is defined by so many perceptions that it's sometimes hard to keep them apart or to find a good way to define Europe itself. As we've looked over the region of Europe, we've defined it largely by other people's perceptions. And as we continue our study, you'll see those perceptions in action with cultural, political, and economic decisions. Until next time, keep exploring! Hey, hey.